Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is some Dark Souls 2 combat gameplay. Not too sure if there's an NDA or some kind of restrictions on it, but I'm going to cover it anyway, try and see if YouTube lets me get it through. So, as you can see, it's going to be a variety of different arenas, and the player here is going to be in between builds, some using magic, some using basic melee, taking on the giant mummy guy who's got that kind of crazy scythe staff thing who looks really, really interesting. And these white warriors here in this area that looks a lot like the Ulusil Township. Or should I say the Royal Woods, because it's got the same kind of colour palette. And I'm not too sure if these areas will be able to be visited in, with different colour palettes thanks to dynamic lighting and, you know, weather and and day and night effects, I'm not too sure, or if this is just how they're going to look, but I'm very glad to see an area that isn't completely covered in blackness, because this looks like a very dark game. But, I was tempted to slow this video down, and there's every chance I might do that later on if this gets through, but, you know, I've not seen this footage, so I thought I'd share it, and it seems pretty interesting. Dogs are back, they look pretty annoying, as per usual. You know, the damage on what he's taking from the enemies seems pretty decent. As you can see, his stamina bar is getting affected, as you would expect it from this kind of game. Uh, the person playing, you know, you can complain that he's not very good, but at least we're getting to see some, some stuff. I'm not too sure what that on his screen is. I assume it's the upgrade of the bleed bar. It looks a bit distracting, but who knows? Maybe it'll become really natural once we play. And if you want to see the full video of this, it's on IGN. It does have volume. It has a dude talking, but obviously I've taken that off for, for creative reasons. And he is going to explain, you know, some of the stuff that you, you're watching right now. So if you're interested, feel free to do so. But quite a lot of it is stuff you've already seen mixed in with a little bit of stuff that you haven't seen. I'm very, very excited to get my hands on the game and, and to test it out for myself. And we don't have too much longer to wait now, guys. It's only just like a month and a half, which is no time at all. So hopefully we'll all prepare to die, because that's exactly what I'm hoping the game's going to deliver. So thank you for watching, I hope you're excited, and you take care now.